What's bracking with y'all, man? Look, 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 look. Dang, man. Another rapper gone. Dang, Big Scar. What happened, man? I was messing with your music and everything. So, look, man. I guess he overdosed off pills. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. That's allegedly. So, we already know we're going to have the YouTubers coming out talking about conspiracies and sacrifices and rituals and all that and blase, blase. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe none of that. I don't care about none of that. But right here, we got Trenches Talk. What's good with you, man? Like, um, I ain't got no problem with you. You feel me? I'm just rebuttling and I just like, I just make these videos to see how people feel because people say certain things and I just bring it to attention how woke I am. Because a lot of people's out here, you know what I'm saying? Making it seem like it's somebody else's fault instead of the person's fault because of they died. You feel me? Because of they did certain things. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's just the person, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no sacrifice or nothing, man. Let's get this video started, man. Real good content, man. Let's go. And this video is for Gucci Man, man. One of my favorite artists. One of the people that I grew up off of, like, all your music. You the reason why I started popping uh, ecstasy back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? You made that popular. This how I know people have an effect on these kids and the culture. Gucci was rapping about this so much about these pills and how spectacular they was and what did it do and make you feel, nigga. I used to be one of the people that told mothers that they pop pills. They were some hype. They were some. Yeah, it was like that back then. You know what I'm saying? In my pill day area, you know what I'm saying? I had people that told me not to do it. You feel me? But then turn around and then they do it. You feel me? But when he talking about Gucci, man, had a big influence on him. You know what I'm saying? Popping them. I don't know, man. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man. I think Mac Dre had one of the biggest pill popping influences in reality. In this world, R.P. Mac Dre, man, you feel me? But let's keep going, man. Cause Gucci man got them with bussin', and motherfuckers had to be like Gucci man, and it was trying to be like Gucci man. So therefore, you got all these rappers, bro, that's doing these goddamn drugs, bro. And you got a person like Gucci man, as big as he is, can be saying no to drugs and telling these guys not to do that. Sh See, there we go. That's that's what we mess up, bad man. Look, I understand trenches that. You're trying to be positive and spread positivity on your on your live like everybody else say or like on your channel like everybody else say, right? But at the same time, come on man, you can't really expect Gucci man to say that. You know how many people gotta come out and say that? It takes more than him, you feel me? And I I really don't think Gucci man had nothing to do with scar overdosing on no pills. You know how many people do drugs? It just, it's hard out here, man. <laughs> hey, I think y'all get it. Let's go. It, it ain't healthy. You can die. You can do this and a third. Like, you should be a mentor to your artist. You losing artists to the grave. You losing artists to the jail. You know what I'm saying? And, it, and I'm wondering, like, why is you signing so many goddamn artists? Every time I look up, you signing them. And we don't hear about these guys. And if they do blow up, they're either going to be dead or they're going to be in jail. Remember your mom used to tell you that back in the days, man, it's either two things going to happen to you. You're going to be dead or you're going to be in jail. And that just lets you know, just because you get money, just because you got nice cars, you got a rap career, this, that, and the third, that don't mean everything peaches and cream. Okay, I, I hear what you're saying, you know what I'm saying, but you said uh, you, was, you was one of the first ones to be signed in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know if, like, what happened, why you didn't make it, but I think that if... You had a chance to make it, you would have made it, and then you would have been shining out here just like them. Even though you wouldn't have been big as them, you would have been out here shining with your chains and your cars and everything just like that. You probably been moving smart, but come on, man. Let's go. Gucci man. Gucci man. You need to talk to your artist. You need to step up and be a bit more <laughs> mentor and a, a more big homie and everything to these guys because they look up to you. You signing these guys, and we tired of seeing 1017 artists in jail. We tired of seeing 1017 artists dying, et cetera, bro. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I get it, man. Hey, Trenches Talk, man, shout out to you, man. I know a lot of people, when I make videos, they think I hate them, but I don't, man. So I get the positive message, but the reason for me making this video is to tell y'all that it ain't Gucci, man, fault that Scar was popping pills or whatever, man. It's just life. So, because a lot of people think that because of the parents and stuff is their fault. Nah. It's because the environment in the hood, it's because of your friends, your influences. That's why, you feel me? But, hey, man, it's smoking the whiskey. Let me know how y'all feel, man. And I'm gone.